photo and video tripods are like wet dry vacs for your shop. What? How do you say that? Nothing is standard. We're going to talk about it coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And we're going to talk about actually photo and video tripods here and the mounts. And why did I compare them to uh, wet dry vacs, commonly called shop vacs? Is if uh, you have a shop, or maybe you don't have a shop, but you have a wet dry vac, and then you bought another wet dry vac, you bought some attachments, you'll find out that every manufacturer decides to make crap the size that they want. There's nothing really standard. You get into dust collection, it's four inch and it's two and a half inch. Well, then if you go to try to connect uh, vax to it, you've got hoses that are just like all over the place. And then you're trying to get an adapter. And well, that ends up the same diameter as a hose. And this one doesn't fit inside, but this one is too big. And this one's too small. And you're trying to use a clamp and it doesn't work. And it drives you nuts. Well, the world of photo and video tripods is a lot like that. And what, I'm, what I've done, and I have a lot of tripods. As you can see here, here are just a few of them. And of course, that doesn't include the one that the camera that I'm shooting on right now is mounted to. And I have another one here. This one happens to have a light on it. It's a real light duty tripod here. It's nothing I would ever put a video camera on. And then upstairs in the studio, I've got five more tripods. Three of them hold umbrellas with lights, and two of them hold studio lights, LED panels. Now, plus, I have one more that is even older. That is strictly a photo tripod that I just basically don't use anymore. But So if I went from tripod to tripod, I have different brands. This uh, one I'm shooting right now is a Kayer, C-A-Y-E-R. I guess that's the way you pronounce it. I really like it. It has a fluid head. It pans and tilts and has a ball on it. It's perfect for shooting video, having a big rig mounted on it, like uh, I do with my Lumix, as you can see here. The other tripods I have are different brands as Velbon and uh, Bogan, which is Manfrotto, and then I have Manfrotto's. But the problem was all the different mounts to them. And of course, when I bought these, I looked for the uh, tripods, and I, I bought most of these on eBay. You could buy them real cheap if the mount's missing. Because if you don't have this part to mount your camera on, this is what happens to be for a Velbon. If you don't have that, you can't mount your camera to it. Well, if you go to try to buy it aftermarket, a lot of times it either isn't available if the tripod's old enough, or it costs as much as you just paid for the used tripod. Uh, when you get into some of the Manfrotto mounts, like this one here, this one here, you'll find the same thing. You can buy these aftermarket. I've got a, a yoke, uh, triple cold shoe yoke mounted on this one that we use for microphones and lighting up in the studio on a, on a Manfrotto. And if this was mounted to the tripod, you would pop that in there. And I said you could pop that in there. Maybe that one doesn't belong on there. No, nope, that's not the right mount for that one. I'll we'll have to get one over here. This is what I was getting at with uh, all the mounts being different. So some of the aftermarket mounts you get are not so good. Okay, here's the other problem, and I see what's going on with this one. This one has a D-ring screw on the bottom of it. I'll bring it over there so you can see it. Well, the problem with that is this D-ring has no place to lay down, so I would have to have a screw that did not have the D-ring on it, and would just uh, definitely just use the a screwdriver. And of course, the tripod that this mounts on up in the studio has a deep throat on it. It's an older man Frodo. So that's why this would mount on that. But it won't mount on the, this is an F, uh, OEM Manfrotto mount here. This is an aftermarket. They're, they both work the same, but it doesn't have a deep enough throat down here to accommodate that D-ring. Even though this has a recess, the D-ring will not fit down in there enough 
why screw around with all this stuff? You get all these different tripods, you get these different mounts. This here is a, uh, I don't even know what brand this one is. This is a Sun Pack. And it has its own little mount, and it's floppy as hell, but I can tighten that up. But I'm going to change the mount on that too. What I've done is I've made all my mounts the same. Once I got this Kager tripod, um, put the slider on it and everything. As the uh, Manfrotto, I think it's called a 701 or 501 or something. You have this plate. There's one here that slides in. And you have either the quarter 20 mount or the 3816 mount. Use either one. As you slide in there, there is a little rubber thing down here where you can pop that off, take one of them out if you want. I just leave them in because I've got plenty of room to move them. I've put the mounts, which look like this, on all of the tripods that I use for shooting video. Whether it be, uh, of course, these are all for B-roll, or if I do decide to go portable with... Uh, my GH5 here because that that Kayer is mounted on a dolly and I'm not going to disassemble and everything to try to take that mobile but these other ones, the Manfrotto's, the Bogan they work just fine, they have uh, nice pan and tilt heads on them uh, nice fluid heads uh, a couple of the tripods are what you would call a photo tripod which means you don't have the pan and tilt and you got to manually adjust and then tighten and which is fine if you're doing B-roll or if you're doing something where you need to dismount it and just have a set there. Or maybe you're doing a video light on it like this here. I use this one here for video lighting. And because it's a very, very light duty tripod, I wouldn't want to put anything heavy on it at all. This is what I've done with my tripods to kind of make things standard. Uh, I wish I could do it with all my different shop vacs because I've got five different shop vacs and five different size hoses. So I got all these little adapters and weird crap like that. It, it does work, but it, it just drives you nuts. So it's good to standardize my thought on it, my angle on it. You know, maybe you want to just stick with this particular mount, just make them all the same. I happen to like this one because of the slide in. It locks. You, once you slide this in and it goes past the pin, it can't just keep going. And it can't just slide out the back you push the pin on the side and release it. So it's kind of a good safety thing. Um, I've never dropped a camera with one of these older Manfrotto mounts. Uh, they do have a locking pin on the back. Once you lock your plate in, get up here close. So let's say you have your camera mounted on this plate. Put it in there, lock it. And this is an instance of where this doesn't necessarily fit this properly because this should have flipped all the way around and not allowed me to do this. Because there is a locking pin here. Let me grab the other one. Okay, here's the same mount. Here's, this is a cheap plastic um, adapter, but drop that in. This flips over. You move this pin over, you cannot pull this. You have to pull this pin out, and you can move this, and your plate pops free. The problem is that a lot of times I will forget to flip this pin around. And I have never dropped anything, but I have come close. So with the, the new system there with the, uh, I like to say, I think it's a 701 or a 501 mount, I like it a lot better. So therefore, I have converted all of my tripods to that. And okay, how do you do the conversion? The base plate and the camera mounting plate, available on Amazon of all places. Uh, the particular brand I bought was uh, called Utebet, U-T-E-B-I-T. And they work perfect. No problems. They are well manufactured. Even a little thing in here, it's a lens pointed that way. So that, of course, you can always remember that brass pin always goes to the front. These are work well. I haven't had any problem with them. I've got this on five tripods now, and that's how it's standardized. So a little bit of uh, videography and photography hit for you. It's uh, probably more towards uh, videography than photography, but they do cross over quite a bit. You got anything out of this?
Appreciate getting a thumbs up. Helps the channel. We're always looking for subscribers. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop talking about tripods. See you in the next one.